Good morning, Sanctuary fam. So today we are going to be mapping out our new property. We are trying to figure out and plan exactly where the animals' houses are gonna go, where their playgrounds are gonna go. There is so much space out here. Um, so it's definitely a little bit overwhelming. So today I wanna walk you guys through, show you the before because the after is coming really quick. Um, as soon as we get this all planned out and we know where buildings are gonna go, we're gonna start building all of our animals new housing and playgrounds so it's really exciting so one of our really good friends Lance Stallman designed this perfect scale blueprint design of our new property for us and it is so awesome so I went ahead and laminated it and figured that we could use it to draw on so that we can play with design ideas for where the animals housing is going to be our previous property allowed for the animals here at our sanctuary to really feel as though they had their own tiny town each animal had their own individual housing and safe space to call their own. We had so many things for the animals to play with and play on. It was a place full of enrichment and stimulation for any animal that came into our care. We had beautiful pools for our ducks to swim in and our chicken coop was a whole clucking hen palace complete with its own chandelier and everything. We had a huge netted in aviary area to protect all of our birds from predators. And so overall, we really just wanna make sure that we not only recreate what these animals already had, but that we use this opportunity to start fresh and rebuild even better than what these animals had before. Our last property was a practice round for us, and this time we want to rebuild even better for the animals. So this was my idea, and, and in thinking about, firstly, like you said, what areas, what habitats on the property are going to be best for the animals, and then also what's going to be easy for us to maintain. He wants to make sure that we're inside of buildings when we're doing feedings and stuff so that we're not dragging feed from one area mm -hmm. to the right. other. Um, this coming down here mm -hmm. and a long building facing this way. Facing which way? It could be facing this way or yeah. you could do it this way. What do you think, Sess? Is it good? Or you could do it this way facing this way. Either way, this way or this way. Your three buildings would be separated like this. Actually, we would need four because we have Shelby's pig now. So you would separate it this way. And when you open the doors, it opens to their pasture space. So it just right. automatically opens. Leaving an alley behind this way so I can walk in the building, I feed them, I feed, 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 and then I call them inside and I shut their door. So I'm turning out, I'm turning it super easy. This area right so here. So that whole thing is the pig area? Yep. So this area right here would be the goats. And obviously like this is a small, it, it's gonna be much more large scale. So you're gonna have I don't think it's gonna really be that whole area, but just for, for reference, this area would be the goats. Now doing the same thing, you have 20 goats. So you have 20 cute little individual faux front walls, but it's like barn stall, barn stall, barn stall, stall, and then with an area coming behind it that you can access to. You'd have a turnout out of the front of the goats area like this, and then creating a pathway right here down the middle of the area you got the chicken buildings right here with chickens, ducks, whatever, because you're gonna have the pond out here. And then you section off, um, like let's say that's your area. Oh, you'd want the, chick the ducks to access the pond. But let's just say, here's your chicken coop area in the trees, here's the chickens turnout. Goats area, goat turnout. Pig area, pig turnout. It gives everyone their own village. So you have pig village, goat village, chicken village, horse cow village. Right. Just adding you know, a little aviary down here for them. Yeah, so maybe we do like their little thing here and it leads out into the yeah. pond. See you for Charlotte. Okay, so the ice cream truck right here in a line facing out. And then Albie's would be like in the middle between these two trees. Keeping in a line facing out. Albies, Albies lot space. <laughs> and then Wilbur. This hair 
Yep. I think this area right here is definitely big enough for the pigs for right now. That is a nice area for the piggies. Okay, so that is the pig space. So now are your goats, this is your driveway through here, your goats over here. Yeah, driveway through here, we can add this area to being another, literally right where the car is coming for, that's perfect. And then we can create another pasture squaring off that back area. Is that goats? Um, no, that's, that would, I don't know, because goats are going to run along this way. Mm-hmm. This could be a walkway. This could be the walkway. This is the walkway coming in. And you have a walkway going back. Yep. So this is the road. This is the road. You drive, go down. This takes you to the goats. Pigs. So back this way, we we don't we run it to where there's an alleyway running behind these buildings. But I'd say we put the goat buildings just like we were saying, right across here, facing out this way. And then here's your pasture. So much space. Putting both ships in this area? No, we're gonna separate them. So that you can turn them out to different areas. You know, so you'll have one on this yeah, side over here side. and one over there. Exactly. Oh, you know what would be really cute, Kevin? Face them both to towards each other. One on that side facing this way and one on this side facing this way. And then we could paint them both like pirate ships and make it look like they battle each other. <laughs> So that they look like they're facing each other? Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right. I'm not a professional, one sorry. So the, the, the back of the ship is there and the front of the ship is here. Yeah, okay. All right, so you want one ship here? All right, so we are doing our first farrier appointment in our new home, making sure the horses keep in schedule with getting their feet trimmed. <laughs> Maverick, you're next. You're next, buddy. What'd you think? You like the new farrier? What'd you think? out there ah! <laughs> what's happening I forgot to put the plug in <laughs> and now I can't get the coda down can you cross It's a little thick back there. I don't know if I want to follow you. <laughs> so there's pretty much nothing we could do with this island. I mean, we could, but it, we would have to get a machine over there, probably right through here, to clear out an area where we could, you know, build stuff. But for sure, I mean, there's, there's a lot of land over there. You know, definitely we could do something with it. All right, good. Yay. Chase leading us, and love is all we'll ever. 
Alright, so we're just shutting all of the gates to make sure that the horses can't get out anywhere um, before we let them out. And we are just going to take a drive around and check out the perimeter fencing really quick to make sure that there's no down spots or anything like that. Um, or little spots that the horses can escape out of. They all went to the flowers. Hazel leads the pack. <laughs> Hi guys. Make good choices. Have fun. <laughs> No! 